My name is uh, Steve O'Dell. I'm the lead instructor for uh, the equine rescue techniques class, otherwise known as the ERT course, that is taught to a fire departments and police departments and other first responders on how to deal with horses that have been involved in uh, trailer accidents or horses that are at large. We teach the safe leading. Uh, we will take our horse and lead the horse up uh, to a certain uh, distance in the barn. We'll turn around and bring them back again. Uh, again, instilling upon the students the safe way to do that uh, and to keep our horse uh, at a safe distance from us so that we don't get run over. We teach a safe technique that we call a safe circle. Um, how to drop the lead rope in one hand and pretty much utilize the full length of the lead rope uh, in order to move the horse away from us so that we don't get injured that way. The horse is a, uh, a flight animal uh, as opposed to humans are fight animals and that goes back to the fight or flight uh, part of our defense mechanisms. Humans tend to stand and fight where the horse's main mechanism is the flight, is to run. It goes back to why we teach the safe circle, to let that utilize that flight part of the horse's defense in our advantage to move the horse away from us so that we're safe. We follow that up with uh, leading the horse through some rather uh, extreme circumstances. Uh, we come before with the horse, um, the trail, the uh, bag comes rolling out onto the trail and the horse tends to get really excited about that because they perceive it as a predator. Uh, they perceive it as a predator because uh, 60 million years of evolution, horses have been prey animals. Uh, we point that out to our students also because I'm often asked the question, we have a 1,500 pound animal, what could it possibly be afraid of? Well, horses through 60 million years of evolution have been, um, uh, have, have learned that just about anything wants to eat them. So they've lived their life constantly looking over their shoulder, and that's why that bag that suddenly appears out of nowhere is a threat to them. We teach the students how to minimize that uh, feeling in the horse by um, simply talking to the animal, uh, talking to them in a soothing voice, calming them down, petting them, stroking them, and still moving them in a safe direction at the same time. We uh, try to conclude the class with um, trailer construction. We go over the trailers. Uh, there are several different kinds as far as a straight load, a ramp uh, load, a step up. Um, we try to go over the different uh, construction of the trailers, aluminum trailers versus uh, steel trailers. We instill upon our students, uh, especially with the firefighters, that this is an extrication. Uh, it is not a removal. We're not going to just pull the horse out. We treat this horse pretty much like we would if it was a human involved in an accident. We remove the vehicle from around our patient. So we're going to make a large opening. I want, we, we make openings that are not only large enough for one horse, we make openings that are large enough for two horses. Again, it's easier to work that way and it's safer for us and the horse to make the larger opening versus the small one. When you load, you're just gonna have to walk in, tie the horse and walk out. You're going to see other ones where you can walk in and there's a door called an escape door. After that, if time permits, we try to have what we call uh, catch the loose horse. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we call it that because it is catching a loose horse. We pretty much just turn a horse loose in the arena, hand a student uh, a bridle, or I'm sorry, a halter and a lead rope, and uh, ask them to step out and catch the horse the best they can. Um, as they're doing that, we try to go over the, with the class some of the finer points that we've uh, already touched on. Um, try to explain to the students how to approach the horse so they're no long, so they don't look like a, a predator, so they don't look threatening, and try to calm the horse down. At the end of the class, we provide uh, at least each department with a resource guide. The resource guide is an outline of the course uh, to serve as a reminder, and more importantly, in the back of the resource guide, it contains a listing of large animal veterinarians that we have 
contacted personally and these veterinarians have um, agreed to respond to the scene of our accidents should we have need for them. Um, the organization that teaches this class is uh, Trail Riders of DuPage, T-R-O-D. Uh, if you enjoyed this class, uh, more importantly, I hope you learned something from this class. Um, trail Riders of DuPage is a trail advocacy group. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. Uh, everyone that you see here does this on a volunteer basis. Uh, so. If you'd like further information, you can go to any search engine on the web, type in T-R-O-D, and it will bring you to our website. Thank you.